Hey guys, welcome back to Maria Antoinette TV. Today we are doing one of my favorite protective styles. They are reusable, crochet, handmade locks. And if you're new here, welcome. Hit the subscription button. If you've been around for a while, you've seen this hairstyle, but you're gonna learn a lot more today. With any protective style, we wanna start with freshly cleansed and deep conditioned hair. I then blew my hair out and then I section minus the comb because these are locks and we want them to look as natural as possible. Next, I'm going to moisturize my hair after I've sectioned everything off. Sectioning is very important because it allows me to know how many locks I'm gonna use. So if I buy 50, I know I need to do X amount of sectioning and X amount of parting within that section to make sure that I have enough spacing for 50. I don't recommend you use 50. It's really thick and it's hard to put in buns. Another step that I always do that some people might not do is add synthetic braiding hair to my plaits. This assures that my ends are secure because this is a protective style and that is the whole purpose is to make sure my hair comes out of this style as healthy and full as possible. So I'm adding in small pieces of synthetic hair to assure that my ends are covered. 43 braids later and most of my locks already in, let's get this party going. I am using handmade locks from Dreadlock Box. All of the information, color, number, everything will be in the description bar below this video. So make sure you guys check that out. The first step is to put my elastic rubber band on to the lock. Then I'm going to take my latch and hook and put it through the hole of the lock and then pull my plait through and start to wrap it around the base of the lock. My hair is long, obviously I don't want to wrap it all the way down, so I'll get to a certain point and I'll start to wrap back up towards the base of my hair. With the elastic already on the lock, I simply slide it up and then I secure my hair down. The number one thing I get is, well if it's a protective style, why are you putting elastic rubber bands on your hair? You guys, these elastic rubber bands don't even make it a week. They start popping off. I have little pieces of black elastic all over my house. They'll be on my shoulder. People will be like, it's a bug. It doesn't last because I use so much oils. They just pop off. So again, elastic around the lock, latch and hook my hair through the lock opening, wrap my hair around the lock, go to a certain point and then wrap my hair back up where I've already wrapped until I get closer to the base. Take the elastic band, secure it down, and then we will move on to the next step. I will be using Marley braiding here for this. I'm going to take one strand, cut it in half. One side will be blunt, the other side will be like that long stringy part. I'm going to take my latch and hook and I'm going to put it through the base of my plait. I'm going to take the blunt side of the Marley hair and I'm going to you know the smaller side and pull it through and make sure that that blunt side is the part that covers up my plait that I twisted around the base. It also gives more coverage and it's harder to keep the blunt side secure. So make sure that the blunt side stays on the lock. It is not the part that gets twisted around. And then I'm going to finger through and like really get a bunch of like thin strings because that's how I secure this in place without glue or it unraveling on me. Another tip that I've been trying is using a little bit of hairspray. I don't really believe it made much of a difference, but I'm going to show you. I used a little bit of got to be and sprayed it and then hand rolled again. I'm going to repeat this onto the next lock. Simply put your latching hook through the base. Take the side with the blunt piece closest to the latching hook. Pull that through. Align it with how far your hair wraps down and then wrap the remaining hair around it. Thin out the loose stringy ends to get like the most strings you can get and keep wrapping until it is secure. And that's it. I never have to rewrap them. It stays wrapped. I just make sure I don't pull my hair through elastics, but we'll talk about that in a second. And four hours later, we have a full hairstyle that will last us for a very long time. This is definitely one of my favorite hairstyles. I wear this every year. All right, let's talk edges and scalp care. So I would shampoo my hair as I normally would, or I would use an apple cider vinegar rinse that I would put into um, 
um, needle point applicator that you would do for coloring a coloring applicator for like semi-permanent colors um, and put it right on my scalp that's one way that I clean my scalp but something that I do like every other day if not every day depending on how much I'm in the Sun is I use this green olive and lavender scalp oil y'all this has been a try and true for me I have been using this every time I wear a protective style I also like using the Cantu edge control I don't know where my normal size bottle is but I had this one so that's what I'm gonna use today and then you'll notice I did not put all of this inside of this lock I literally pulled it down intentionally because that is the most tender hair on my head it breaks so easy so I really like to leave it out and then I'm able to condition it and do the things that I need to do to keep it healthy and by the time I take these out it'll be long and ringlets so that's the goal right is to grow our hair and to have something even more beautiful when we take these out but can we get into these locks y'all the texture is amazing the color is amazing I love that it has like a slight crinkle to it oh, they're so pretty I'm gonna do um, some shots where you guys can actually see it but baby we are ready okay we are ready so I'm gonna show you how I do my edges I'm gonna use a water bottle you can put your hand under the sink and just wet this hair since I'm on camera I'm gonna try to be all uh, politically correct and do it the right way but you really want to get some moisture on that hair so it's really funny I have like legit baby hair so I don't really normally do much with my edges but because I left this part out I am I tend to do more with my edges when I wear protective styles but just like one little mist of water, really work it into the hair, getting it softened and just hydrated because water is the number one hydrator. Another one of my favorites for my edges is Eco Styler Gel. Y'all know, y'all know. So we can use edge control. Water mixed with that Cantu edge control is like the perfect hold. It's not hard, but it's super hydrating. The hair has got a great shine and it's not crispy. And you can see it starts to curl that hair up. And since I'm not trying to wear it slick down, I love that extra texture that it adds. All right, we're done. Time for me to enjoy this hairstyle in the ease of my hair care. Yes, four whole months later, I came back because I always get so many questions and I thought, why post this video and not show you guys what it's like wearing them for a long time? So let's get into it. The first thing I wanna talk about is styling. This was probably my number one go-to style. Um, I just used a headband, like so, mm-hmm pretty stretched out now four months later um, because these do not have any loose ends on them so it's hard to tuck them I found that adding that extra support of a headband outside of the bun was really good I also found and I always talk about this don't twist your hair with elastics okay always cut an old headband cut the metal out and tie your hair into place okay another thing you can do is use the locks to style your hair. You can tie these as well. Another one of my go-tos was taking two locks, taking them behind my head, and tying my hair back. You can do so much with these. They literally are just the easiest hairstyle, hence me not wanting to take them out. All right, so now that we've gone through a couple of the styles that I've done, I also have added some hair jewelry if you guys would like to see a video on this, let me know. This is actual jewelry and pieces from like a Joann's or a Michael's or Etsy. And I did some metal bending yeah, right there. I did my own metal bending. And then I just did embroidery string and then added some 
like jewels on those all of these things just make the locks look so bohemian and just really really cute and sexy let's get into this hair growth I think I have about two inches but I feel like the more they grow out the more natural they look because you don't have like that hump right at the start it almost just looks like oh she just needs a retwist and it works out great I do want to touch base on how I clean them now I used apple cider vinegar at my root and then I would I would wet my roots put apple cider vinegar on first and then I would shampoo and then I would come back and condition because obviously a lot of my hair was had grown out and I wanted to assure that my scalp was clean as well as my hair I did this a couple times in the four months, not frequent. I don't sweat in my head. Um, and when I go swimming, I don't emerge my head. So I didn't really have to worry about like chemicals or anything in my head. Let's get into taking these bad boys out. I don't want to do it, but it's got to be done. All right. We're going to start in the back. So... We'll start here. You guys remember that I secure the, I just put this one back on because it had the rubber band, the elastic had broken and I just put it back on like a couple of days ago just so I wouldn't have a missing lock in this spot. But basically you will clip that elastic off, which typically falls off uh, because of the oils and heat and other things these bands are not made to be indestructible, so they will eventually come off. I just simply untwist my hair, untwist my hair, untwist that loop, slide it off, and there is my hair. Yeah. All right, so that was one without the um, Marley hair wrapped around it. Let's find one that has the Marley hair wrapped around it. So this one has the Marley hair. You can barely tell where it is separated from that. Oh, it's so scary, guys. Four months is a long time to keep something like this in. It's actually over four months. So I'm twisting the opposite way just to kind of loosen up that Marley hair that's twisted around. I'm trying to get it to bubble up like that so I can separate it from my own hair and clip that off. So you just wanna keep twisting it and loosening it. Clip. And then it just unravels from the end. You can see where the Marley hair was crocheted through. I'm going to go ahead and get this removed off of my braid. Remember we used the Marley hair to cover the braid so that it is hidden and it looks flawless. I would say, hmm. About a couple of weeks in, you will start to like see, you won't be able to see the twisted Marley hair over the hair at all. It'll all start to just kind of age and blend in flawlessly. I'm noticing that I don't have any rubber bands on my hair, like none whatsoever. Because as I was wearing them, I noticed a lot of the rubber bands were breaking and coming out. All right, so here is the lock with the Marley hair still attached. I'll go in and just trim that off. And it's ready for my next usage. The twist is still at the top. You guys see that? The hole. And I'll just be able to put my next braid through there and wrap that around. I'll even be able to keep my hair jewelry on as well. All right, so I have one braid left. I have all of my hair basically out. And I just twisted it. But I have one braid left. And I wanted to show you how 
my hair is at the roots because, you know, four months is a long time. The number one thing that I would see over and over as a stylist when my clients would take their protective styles down is that they would come in and their hair would be completely matted and basically a dreadlock because they didn't do this step properly. You have to go in and remove any product buildup from any protective style. And as you see, I'm using my hands, okay? I'm going in and I'm just simply wiggling the hair, breaking that product up because my hair isn't tangled per se, it's just matted with product. So once I get that broken down, I'm able to just slide all of my shed hair down. You guys, we shed anywhere from 100 to 150 strands of hair a day. So imagine my hair has been locked well up for four months. I definitely want to take the precaution to make sure that that shed hair is able to come out with grace and not cause more damage or, well, no damage, but cause damage in or tangles, which will cause more damage. So that's all the hair that I lost. Another thing that I want to tell you is I like to finger detangle any of my hair around the perimeters before I come, with, come in with any type of detangling tool. Because my hair is the most fragile around my perimeter, I am very gentle with it. But here's another technique, if your hair is not fragile, you can do small combs, combings back and forth. It's super quick and it also breaks up the product buildup as well as get the shed hair out. Honestly, this is my favorite part of taking down a protective style, is seeing how well my hair flourished in that protective style. Look at it. It's so healthy. Look at that shine. So something that I've been doing when I take like three braids down is I use this Proclaim Jamaican Castor Oil Refresh, Curl Refresh Spray because I don't want to add water to my hair. I do want to put some sort of hydration back in. I would say like a leave-in conditioner would be a good alternative if you don't have a curl refresher. But I find that this gets the hair back hydrated and it's perfect it's the perfect amount of hydration it doesn't need to be a lot but it also has like oils in it so it has more slip to it I also like using this because it also dubs as a pre poo it gets my hair wet which allows my shampoo to work really well you're going to shampoo and condition and style your hair as you normally would. I hope you guys enjoyed this thorough video. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And make sure to check out the description bar because a lot of the information will be left there. And I will see you guys in the next video. This was a lot of fun. It took a while to film it because I waited until it was time to take my hair down. And hopefully you guys like that. Let me know. Comment below. Bye. <laughs>